Hi everyone. The protocol we will be looking today is we will be looking at today is selective repeat ARQ. As we all know, go back and ARQ was inefficient as we had to send all frames. if one of the frame arrived out of order but in this selective repeat ARQ we will be able to accept the frames if they are within a window size so let's get to it the windows in this The window size allowed is, and this is different from that of go back and ARQ. Sender's window is of the size 2 raised to m by 2, or we can say 2 raised to m minus 1. And receiver's window which was of size 1 in the previous protocols is as is, same size as you take the sender so if the bits allowed in the header m equal to 4 then the sequence numbers numbers will range from 0 to 15 but size maximum size of the window will be 2 raised to 4 by 2 8 okay this reduces the efficiency but it also helps in creating less duplicates so let's see an example say x that just I will explain the receiver side the sender side is the same say this is the receiver side with the window okay and the bits inside is 0 1 2 3 okay so let's say if I receive a frame 0 so frame 0 is accepted and then I receive frame 2 the, win the window after accepting 0 the window shifts to the next so say this is again 0 so frame 2 it accepts 2 see it should have received 1 as per the order but if the number is within the size of the window it is accepted so yeah this is the only change from the previous protocol and to explain why the size of the window should be 2 raised to m by 2 let's take another example say if m equal to 2 so the size of the window allowed is 2 raised to m by 2 equals to 2 so say this is the sender side the sequence will range from 0 to 3 as for the sequence is this 2 raised to m minus 1 which is 4 ok so and this is the receiver side size of the window is 2 so say this is the window ok we receive frame 0 as this is the window ok so frame 0 is received the windows 
the window move further and the acknowledgement sent is lost then the next one we receive frame 1 so it is within the window so yeah frame 1 is accepted and the window shifts towards 2 3 okay these two the two are accepted and again the acknowledgement is lost so what happens then as the timer of this will expire as we have not received the acknowledgement for this bit 0 so it will resend the frame 0 frame 0 is resend ok but it is not within the window size so it will be discarded and considered as a duplicate which is actually correct because 0 is already received so it is a duplicate and it is discarded so yeah this is the correct so this is justified that the window size is this should be 2 raised to m by 2 now to show you if it is not what will happen if it is not so ok let's say if the window size was 3 ok instead of the actual as per the rules if the window size is more than 2 raised to m by 2 so say this is window size is 3 it should not be actually so but let's take as an example 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 3 so we will follow the same pattern as our previous example say this is our window at receiver at center the sender sends frame 0 so frame 0 is received and the window shifts ok and as usual our acknowledgement gets lost then we send frame 1 ok oh window size was 3 sorry sorry so window size was 3 after receiving this it is pointing at so we received 0 1 2 3 now the window is at this place ok now we send 1 1 is received the window shifts further 0 1 2 3 0 ok and our acknowledgement get lost then it sends to so again 2 is received successfully and our window shifts further 0 1 2 3 0 1 now the window is here all these three are received and again the acknowledgement is lost so as we have come to the end of the window and we have not received any acknowledgement the timer of this zero will expire so this frame this zero frame will be resend zero is resend and not much to our surprise it will be accepted as it is within the window size so yeah it will be accepted which is wrong as incorrect because this zero is supposed to be this one but it is it will be accepted as a part of the next sequence 
so that's why window size should be 2 raised to m by 2 one more thing to consider in this is the concept of negative acknowledgement say say frame 0 is sent and received successfully then acknowledgement 1 is received back ok then we send frame 1 it gets lost ok so as we were using pipelining and we were continuously sending so we have in the meantime send frame 2 as the receiver did not receive frame 1 it will send a negative acknowledgement of 1 and meanwhile we have sent another frame 3 so when it received frame 2 it can again send the negative negative acknowledgement of frame 1 but in will only make the network crowded so it only sends one ne negative acknowledgement per window so yeah if so when we receive this negative acknowledgement of one we know that one is not received so we will resend it and then we can get the acknowledgement Four, as we have sent three already then one again and the whole window is fulfilled so we get a cumulative, cumulative acknowledgement of four so yeah that's all the protocols the common thing in all the protocols we have discussed till now is that it suppose it is supposed to have a dedicated link between the sender and receiver in the future videos we will be discussing when there is no dedicated link between them and because of that there is more there is a common channel and all the stations will be sending through it and there will be more chances of collision so yeah the future vid videos we will be discussing about multiple access so that's all for this okay See you next time.